Welcome back to Notebook Check Tech Reviews, where we've got the Samsung Galaxy J5 here, dual SIM, and the Honor 5X, two very similar phones for a very similar price, around 200, 220 euros. On our full review, the J5 scored 83%, the Honor 5X, 84%. But this Samsung is a good phone. I want to go over some differences, and my personal opinion, and I've been using the 5X for quite a long time, is I would keep the 5X. One reason is that thing on the back there. Sorry, that one. <laughs> that thing on the back there makes all the difference. It's the fingerprint unlock button, and it saves seconds. If you're picking up your phone and looking at it 20, 30, 40 times a day, that button, that fingerprint reader, makes all the difference. And that's why I choose the Honor 5X over the Galaxy J5. But let's just go over a few things. I want to talk about the screen first because the screen on the J5 is really, really nice. It's bright. It's got an extremely high contrast. It's AMOLED and it's probably, if you're not using white web pages all the time, going to give you more battery life than the Honor 5X, whose screen, although it is a higher resolution, is, hasn't got the contrast, hasn't got the color range that the J5 is. The J5 pops. And in fact, when you look at photos on the J5, it looks a lot better. In reality, when I get down to some real fine analysis of the photos, the Honor 5X is slightly better. In terms of smartphones, it's not up there with the best. And when I look at the old Lumia um, 830 from two years ago, which was also 250 euros, it's way better. But this, these are good enough for exciting and rich social media posts. So no problem with the cameras there at all. Screen's better on the J5. Battery life on both is pretty good. The J5, I think, is a nicer all-round package in terms of casing and style. It's also a Samsung as well, which makes it a little bit more interesting for people that don't really know what Honor is. Honor, by the way, is the daughter company of Huawei in China, and they have come along leaps and bounds in the last couple of years. So the Samsung J5 is going to sell extremely well. There's no doubt about it. It's been a very popular phone. In fact, it's been the most popular smartphone review that we've had on Notebook Check this year so far. And I'm sure if you buy it, you won't have any problems with it at all. But I'll say again, that fingerprint reader on the Honor 5 makes a huge amount of difference. Let's just go over a couple of the specs um, from our reviews and highlight a couple of differences that might help you because even though this has got the fingerprint reader on the back, you might still want the J5. Let's start with a word about processing power. The Honor 5X is slightly faster. It's very clear if you do a, a Sun Spider test or some very simple basic web-based test, the Honor 5X is ahead. In the real world, you're not really going to notice the difference. In fact, I find typing on the J5 a much nicer experience than on the Honor 5X. Now, I've reset the 5X. I've had it since March. I've reset it recently. So we're back to sort of a basic firmware build, both running Android 6.1, but I still find typing on the J5 a little bit better. In terms of the screen, then I said the J5 has a very high contrast screen. It's also AMOLED, so it's difficult to measure the high brightness because AMOLED screens uh, higher the, uh, raise the brightness in certain areas as needed, so it's quite difficult to take an average reading. So actually, if you look at the results on the Notebook Check uh, Tech Review, the Honor 5X looks like it has slightly higher brightness. It's certainly a whiter white to my eyes, um, but the contrast of the... J5 and the fact that it's AMOLED it can push single pixels up to something around 500, 550 nits makes it a little bit more useful outdoors. In terms of battery life, both of these are going to give you over 10 hours of Wi-Fi surfing. They've both got excellent big batteries inside. Uh, snap off back on the J5 allows you to change the battery. That's the only big difference between the batteries on these two devices. So if you're carrying a spare battery, the J5 can give you a little bit more if you really need to go out and have a full hard weekend without charging. Audio quality, the J5 isn't that good in terms of its built-in speaker. They're both mono, but the Honor 5X has the edge. It's a little bit louder. Uh, and works nicely if you're in the kitchen cooking, you want to listen to some internet radio in the background, watch some YouTube videos uh, with friends. The Honor 5X has a slight edge there.
Both of these don't really have the best in terms of voice quality when it comes to calling. I find both of these a little bit uh, low in terms of volume and clarity uh, when I'm in a noisy environment. Um, acceptable at home and acceptable for 99% of people. But if you're in a noisy environment, neither of these have the best voice quality. I'll also mention something about the Wi-Fi and the J5. In our review, we saw very low Wi-Fi transfer speeds. And in fact, downloading uh, a game yesterday, I was surprised how slow it was downloading. There's something not quite right about the Wi-Fi on the J5. It's good enough for most things, perfect for social media. But if you're doing uh, stuff that requires high uh, big downloads, gigabyte, it's going to take a little bit longer on the J5. Both of these are dual SIM, uh, so I was testing similar versions. I did notice that the J5 started to get a bit warm, uh, certainly on the first turn on as it was updating and upgrading. And certainly if you're charging at the same time, both of these, by the way, are USB 2.0 micro USB ports. If you're charging at the same time, you will notice a bit of heat build up on the back. One thing I will say about the J5 is that it's slightly easier to hold in the hand. It's just a little bit thinner and it's a little bit more portable. It feels a little bit more secure in the hand than the Honor 5X, which honestly was a little bit, uh, has fallen out of my hands a few times, a little bit uh, slippery in my opinion. It does, however, have that little mode there where you can move the screen into a lower corner of the, um, sorry, move the image into a lower, lower corner of the screen or the user interface and get a little bit better access to uh, applications from uh, in single-handed mode. So that's maybe a little bit of an advantage about the Honor 5X. In terms of user interface, both of these are slightly adapted away from standard Android. The Honor 5X, I've got used to. The J5 is a little bit more standard Android in terms of the app drawer. I don't think it'll be, it's gonna be a problem for anyone, and you can skin them with different uh, launches if you need to. Overall then, both the Samsung Galaxy J5 and the Honor 5X, fantastic value right now, 200 to 220 euros, dual SIM, reasonably powerful devices with good enough cameras for social media, long battery life, um, and an up-to-date operating system. We're talking about Android 6.1 here, not 7. Uh, I don't know what's gonna happen with Android 7. My feeling is maybe that one has a better chance. That's the Samsung over the Honor. We'll see what happens during the first quarter of 2017. It's late 2016 now, it's coming up for Christmas. If you see these on offer over the next week at under $200, uh, $200 euros or pounds, probably worth snapping it up because they are excellent budget all round smartphones. Take a look at the full review. We've got a massive set of tests for both the J5 and the Samsung, uh, sorry, the Honor 5X. You'll be able to get all the information you need out of those. Uh, links are in the video notes below. If you've got any questions, I might be able to answer them in the YouTube video notes below. Don't forget to like the video, pass it on, subscribe if you want more from us, and we'll see you on the next Noble Check Tech Review. Thanks for watching.